G'day, this is Ozeko playing EU4 Common Sense as Switzerland and trying to wind up this war with Ulm without triggering a coalition. So we're going to have to wait for aggressive expansion to tick down, even though it is pretty damn low already. It's on two, needed on zero. So the end of this year, hopefully, coalition will be down to just whoever's higher, like Milan. I don't think they would go for it when we're allied with France and Hungary anyway, but don't want to take the risk. All right, there's a call for peace. So I did have a look at, if we took Ingolstadt instead of Ansbach, then we could get away with a much smaller coalition, but there still would be one, and then we wouldn't border like Würzburg, Nuremberg, and Mainz. So we definitely need Ansbach. Oh God, and Palatinate. One, two, three, four extra countries we border this way. Let's have access from Aragon, absolutely. Peace off from Bavaria, no way in hell. So, the other thing, if we do these pieces separately and take Hansbach from Bavaria first, we can actually humiliate them and get this up to 105 power projection. Don't even know if it goes that high. Um, then take all straight away after, it's fine. So, that is how we're going to want to do it. We do still need to go to war with Metz. Well, Lorraine, four mats, so that we can board our Elsass, so we can annex them. All right, first of December, good. Timing will work out nicely. So, tech is Diplo. No, don't know if we need it. Don't want to check. Wait till the war's over. All right, so two more months of call for peace. That's fine. It's pretty low. Got no um, unrest. Do have the civil war on the way. Try and avoid that. Actually, what's it up to? As long as it's not up to like 35%. 37, damn it. Alright, there we go. So, that should stop. Progress is zero, but it's not going to tick down. Alright, 1st of January, 1500. Happy New Year, Ansbach. This is down. Good. So, let's have a look. If we went for it. Mainz, Ulm, Bavaria, Trier, and Lorraine. Now, Ulm will cease to exist. Mainz has a treaty with us. Bavaria will have a treaty with us. Trier and Lorraine will not. But they're tiny. They're not going to declare war. So, we'll do it. Bavaria, you are going to give us Ansbach. You will give us war reparations, you will give us money, you will be humiliated, and you will annul your treaties. Go for it. And then three days later, we go to Ulm and we say, Hey buddy, how are you feeling? Give us all your money. And that's all we can do. Go with clans in Memmingen, I don't really care. Uh, it's free though, so why not? Give us some prestige. And yes, give us Ulm. Thank you. Now, no fort there. There is a fort there. We will send guys over. Don't need to increase autonomy there. These guys should do enough there. They have completely reinforced. Looming disaster is going to tick up again because we are way over 10%. Boom will be done rather quickly because we had a claim on it. it. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference though, that's fine. Um, well, we only need Ulm done to get under the 10% for this disaster, so that will be absolutely fine. Now, what else? Tech. We will take Diplo. Sounds good. You go away. You are already gone. Just disappear. Truce with the Pope ends this year. So we would love to go to war with Metz immediately. Not with Metz, with Lorraine. Because we want to get to war with Provence. Poland was the issue here. France would come in. Hungary would not. We could pay off their debt, but they'd still have war exhaustion and manpower issues. So we're going to wait a while. We will let our war exhaustion tick down for... It's two years worth, but we'll see how it goes. Trier, yeah, you can come through, bud. 
Go for it. Alright, we have the stuff with the Pope, so... 13% chance. Good. France is going home. Sounds good. Alright, unlawful territory, of course. Forgot about that. We will decline. Where are you? Um, right. Um, we will increase autonomy. Don't want to deal with them. Now, force limit. We can do another seven. Which is not too bad. What do we actually have? 626. Six. Let's get two more cavalry. Not enough manpower, of course. Duh. Eventually, we will get two more cavalry. Alright, so Modena got annexed. Sorry, buddy. We did guarantee him. But they threatened the uh, what, Milanese. Ferrarans threatened to bring in France. So, too bad, Modena. Alright, we have a number of forts, but we can afford to keep them up now. Well, not really. More operations should have been higher than that. Oh. Making money, that's what counts. Six forts. Oh, the guy. Get out of that army. Okay. So, do we want all the forts? We get rid of Luxembourg. Barawa will cover both of them anyway. Take them more, that will cover Liege. So, yeah, let's get rid of this one. Where do we go? Yeah. Destroy Castle. Yeah. Save us and tuck it. Poor Vintage. Lose Prestige. Oh, that sucks. And this, I didn't see what it went up to. You get 30, not 40, don't you? So it went up to 95. I'd love to see if it goes over 100. Who are our rivals? Savoy, Bavaria, Milan. I would love to attack Milan. That is what we're going to do next. Nobody wants to join in. No Cassus Belli, really. That's right, we we're waiting. Because of the aggressive expansion, if we get caught fabricating, it could trigger the coalition. So we're going to wait. We have enough claims on other people. We need to go to Lorraine. Well, we don't have that many claims, do we? Hmm. Augsburg, we accidentally gave to France as a vassal. That's fine. All right, Alsace, you can come home. Uh, let's improve with France and Hungary for now. Can't hurt. Both on 200 already, but let's just keep it bloody high. They're the ones that do all the fighting for us, really. All right, how many provinces do we have? Almost big enough to become a kingdom. 15 provinces. Okay. Didn't need development of 300 to upgrade from duchy to kingdom. And you need 50 prestige, so we couldn't do it anyway. Wow. The law governs great and small. Good. Unrest down. Sounds helpful. Ansbach. 23 years. Good. Are they on 2.9 percent? I thought they were down to 1 percent a while ago. Overextension, war exhaustion, legitimacy. Oh, all right. How old's our guy now? 20 something? 26. Heinrich von Heimbach. Uh, diplomat's only 38. That's good. Should last a while. We can do an idea. But I think we'll save up for military tech. 
next one is guys. They're going to be decent, I think. Um, three versus five. Yeah, you're going to want to do that. Looming disaster. Should not be an issue. Need the legitimacy to get up. Otherwise, we're going to trigger it next time we take a province. Unless it's under 10 over extension when we take it, which we could do if we take it from Bavaria. But we don't want to take, we want to take something from Milan next. Well, we could just humiliate him. It would be good. Actually, we have to take Metz, so I don't know how much that's worth. It's worth a hell of a lot. Bam. Alright, all is ours, which means the looming disaster is gone. Ah, uh, new idea. No, stop telling us. Alright, reach the maximum with France, come home. Alright, back. Metz. Lorraine. France would join. Hungary would still not. Manpower is getting worse. War exhaustion is terrible. Fighting in another war, that's the reason. Who are you fighting in that war? Corsica and Naples. Wow. France would probably be enough. Thank you. Alright, that's gone. Uh, Provence, Li uh, Poland. That was the issue. We need Hungarians to take care of Poland. Unless we attack Liège. And they bring in Provence. Liège. We bring in Bohemia. Alright, who was the other one? Milan. Milan brings in Aragon, don't they? Ooh, Aragon might... Well, I will. Tuscany, Ferrara, Provence. France wouldn't join that. Alright. If we went straight for Provence, they wouldn't join either. They'd only join if we attack Lorraine, which is weird. There's no difference in the war. Why do they... Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Poland looks big and scarier because Lithuania is in personal union. Twenty-one percent chance of inheritance. Or is it minus twenty-one? Damn it! All right. Scotland is dead. Monsters hanging on. Well, I think we need to wait and see what happens with this war. Transfer trade power. Yes, we will transfer it again. We've already done it. Hungry. Alright, come on. So it's Corsica and Naples. Oh, you're in it with Aragon. Aragon, Navarre, Hungary, and Austria. Aragon and Navarre are one country, Hungary and Austria are one country. That sounds good. How about who are you allied with? Corsica and Castile. Jesus. Ferrara, Tuscany. I'm not in the war though. Alright, must have allied afterwards. Alright, well, we try and enforce the peace. Currently three. Damn it. Well, Aragon, we've got nothing better to do. How about you like us a bit more? Do nothing for this war, but hopefully it'll be useful later on. And the diplomat just sits around otherwise. Hopefully Hungary's manpower won't actually be used up in that. Hmm. What exactly was his issue? Fighting in another war. Yeah, war exhaustion. 
can't tick down. Hopefully he'll buy it down as soon as the war's over. Manpower. Can't do anything to help him with that. Still defensive. France are not defensive anymore. Good. No way to get Poland out. Allied with Provence and Saxony. Hmm. Already checked all them. No way to do it. Oh, what about Venice? What could we do to them? Pope, England, and the Knights. I don't think anyone would join. No. All right, we'll just sit around waiting. Wait for that war to end. Wait for aggressive expansion to tick down. 26s, 20s, yeah, it's pretty damn high. Protestant Reformation in Norway. All right. Well, Papal Controller was our mission. Curator Controller, whatever. Um, we could convert. The Center of Reformation will appear. Do we want to do that and annoy France and Hungary? I don't think so. No, not yet. Maybe later. See how it goes. Where is the religious map mode? It's all the hell away up there, which is good for us. Good for us if we want to stay Catholic, that is. <clears throat> one of these Germans will do it. And we've got to try and take the third one if we're going to convert. Don't know. Don't want to deal with a religious war. The religious civil war looming disaster thing, whatever. Alright, the other fort. Where are we going to get rid of one of them? We get rid of Vard. Because these are all covered. Yeah, we get rid of it. And we could put it down here somewhere. Band covers them. Piemont would cover Savoy if we take that. And it would cover Cuneo and Montferrat. Yep, good. Need one more. Tax would be good, but these points are better to spend. So let's do it now. Get it in there. And I believe every province is actually covered by four. Ansbach covers Ulm. Graubünden covers Oberschwaben and St. Gallen. Bern covers all of these. Barois covers Luxembourg. Piemont will cover Wallace and Montferrat. Good. Fitting together nicely. Milan are at war with Mantua. About time. I wonder when we lost the claim decades ago. Did we have a claim? I don't know. Maybe that was a practice run I did. Alright. Hungary, still at war. Actually bringing guys over now to do something. Not in the second war, eh? You are. Against Provence. That's who we wanted you to... Oh, Jesus. So does that mean you're at war with Poland? It does not. Who did you... Alright. Show me that war. Uh, attacker against Corsica. Defender against Milan. Milan call them in. They did. So, tell me... Damn it. Really want to enforce peace here. Of a bitch. Will this drag on long enough? I doubt it. But we'll go improve relations. And yeah, maybe. I don't know. Aragon's up to 54, so yeah, decent ish. 
Manch well, bring the Aragonese guy back. Can't do anything useful to Mantua. Alright, that's fine. Well, I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know if you are, and I'll see you again soon.